All right, here we go. Big Daddy Shin, day 351 at a sidewalk on the street. I mean, I'm just gonna just pick up and walk. So, 24 hour fitness, close. And then, so I'm thinking, you know what? Maybe I'll just get a day pass at those other gyms. Close, 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 close. I'm like, ah, okay. So, I don't feel like doing push ups in my house. So, I figure, you know what? So, go out and just walk. I mean, I should go see my mom and Stu earlier and then go to the go to the track over there. There's a college right by the house, but but uh, yeah, I don't feel like running. I just want to walk and then walk one hour one way, and as soon as the hour's up, then I'll walk back. So I put I put the steps thing on on my phone, so we're gonna see how many steps I walk to. But yeah, right now it's a little before 11:15. So I'll go till, I don't know, 12, 15, Hey, 12. I mean, let's see where we, where we, you know, finish over there. Sense of adventure. But so, uh, yeah. So this is actually pretty cool stuff because I never did this. I never walked around in this area. Yeah. The thing is during the daytime, it's much better than if you did it at night. If you did it at night. Yes, that doesn't look as exciting. There's all these cars over here. Who knows? Is it the safest neighborhood? I don't know, but whatever. Here I am, and so it's sunny. This is like the okay. Here we know that Christmas will be green and bright, right? Who needs to go to Hawaii for Melakalikimaka? So today is Christmas Day, and uh, I'm walking. But, you know, I was, when I was home, okay, I was thinking, okay, am I going to go in the car, drive somewhere, and then go walk? Or do I just save myself that misery and just go outside and start walking? Yeah. And one of the choices was to go to Six Flags. I mean, Six Flags, I'm not going to really go on too many rides and everything, right? But, uh, uh, what a, yeah, the, the Six Flags, it's like an hour to get there, right? And then so, uh, you know, walk around, whatever, and then an hour to get back home. So that's two hours right there. And then whatever exercise you do, you're in the park, and, I know I wasn't going to go on rides and stuff. It's, all of a sudden, it's like, yeah, I have to go to, um, then I have to go to, uh, uh, you know, go see my mom and Stu. But then, yeah, that's why I decided, I mean, it's, it's kind of sketchy. There's some weird people that are walking around. I'm like, oh, man, maybe I should, I should get my butt home. Maybe I should have went to Six Flags, right? Just wondering, are people going to steal my phone? It's not that bad, don't get me wrong. But, I mean, it's, I just don't do this too often. <coughs> but, um, yeah, so I was going to go there. I was going to go, oh, you know what? I'm going to go to like a nice big park or something. But no, I mean, it takes time to actually drive to those places. And so I'd rather just get the exercise in and go for it. So the difference on here and doing the treadmill is that you're actually moving. Right, your body's going from A to B. And it's a different type of feeling. And it feels great. You're outside, you smell the nice smells of traffic. And uh, I don't know. And it's funny too, because I'm thinking like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna do something exciting. I'm gonna walk to In-N-Out. So In-N-Out is about, I don't know, it's a it's an hour and a half another direction, right? So I'm thinking, okay, I'll do that, eat in and out, and come back. And I, I realized, you know what? It's Christmas, so these people are going to be closed. And yeah, they're closed. So good thing I didn't go that way. Good thing I called first, right? And then so, you know, I figure, okay, you know what? Maybe I'll go to Chick Fil A. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if In-N-Out is closed, Chick-fil-A is closed too. You know, well, Chick-fil-A, they close on Sundays. So, you know, do I expect them to be open on Christmas? No. And then, so, I was even thinking that whole Golden Corral place. Oh, let me get some good breakfast. Nope. Closed. 
So, yeah, maybe one of the adventures would be like, okay, I'm going to walk to the stores and find out, find out, uh, you know, who's open. Okay, but anyways, um, that's me, I'm going to be walking, so I've been walking for exactly like, what, four minutes? Is this thing on? Can you imagine? I'm filming and it's not even recording. I've been going about like five minutes. Actually, I started walking a little before that. I got to a point where it's not my, the front of my place. So, just in case you guys see any landmarks and people will be stalking. I'm kidding. But, uh, uh, anyway, let's move on. I'm gonna walk and I'm starting to sweat. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I'm progressing, right? And, uh, yeah, I thought about this. And, you know, I was walking in the middle of the street, thinking, like, okay, because there's a street and then the other street, but there's a divider in between. I'm thinking, like, okay, walking the street, just enjoying the pavement, but I thought about it. You know, sidewalks, having nice sidewalks to walk on, it's a super big luxury. And, you know, sometimes when I went to Mexico, yeah, a lot of places do have sidewalks, don't get me wrong. But then sometimes when you're walking on different roads and stuff, there's no sidewalks. And then so it's one of the things that we take for granted that it's like you have a pathway, you can walk, you don't have to be in the street and it's fine. I'm not talking about sidewalks like in front of like the, the big busy streets and stuff. I'm talking about, well, yeah, those two, right? But you, know, you just want to walk in a neighborhood and like, oh, wow, well, you know, it's pretty nice. So you don't think about that. I didn't think about that for 48 years. So another thing too is, I'm starting to get nervous. Cause what if I have to go to the bathroom, right? There's no places that are open today. So if I go like an hour away, and then all of a sudden I decide, my body decides, hey, bathroom, I go, oh gosh, that'd be horrible. So, I don't know. It's one of those things where you just gotta just go, right? Just. You know, oh, I need I need to work out later because my body feels this way. Or, no, because then you're waiting like all day, and finally it's like two in the morning, and finally you decide, oh yeah, maybe I should exercise. Whatever. Anyways, I'm doing it. I'm sweating. <sighs> okay. Anyways, moving on. You know, I was thinking it was awesome. Okay. Now I'm glad I didn't go to Six Flags. I, I'm glad I didn't even go to Disneyland. Uh, my, my pass is blocked, but, but uh, uh, you know, there's times where I go, you know what, I want to go do the whole Disney walk, right? You go there, walk around the park. Disneyland, if you go to the perimeter of it, it's like two and a half miles. And then California Adventure is two miles. So you do that, right? The thing is, I didn't realize how peaceful it is. Just walking and no one's like bumping into you. You're going with the purpose of exercise. You know, you don't have temptations on the foods, like the smells and stuff of Disneyland. And I mean, yeah, you do get to look and see all the stuff, and it's like a lot of happiness going on. But you see a lot of frustrated people, too, like, oh, wow, look at these lines. Because, yeah, I was looking at uh, some of the posts this morning on people trying to get into the park. Yeah, to get into parking today, into parking, it was like an hour and a half. They're like, oh, my gosh. So usually you figure... Most people are spending Christmas with their families. Well, yeah, they're spending Christmas with their families at Disneyland. So, yeah, it's, it's crazy. I thought that today it wouldn't be that bad, but I guess it is. Easter's a day where it's like a lot of people at church and they go to the park. And then you figure Mother's Day would probably be pretty crowded. Father's Day, I don't know. A lot of those dads would want to do something different, I think. Um, Valentine's Day, oh yeah, forget about it, right? And then, uh, I don't know, but I'm getting towards civilization, look at that. Okay, I think I got to rest.
We'll see. Okay. All right. Okay, time out. I'm trying to figure out what that place over there is open. Starbucks is open. Yeah. So, but uh, I'm not a coffee drinker, so what am I supposed to do? Uh, what is that place over there? A pizza place that's open on Christmas. <sighs> Yesterday we were trying to find a pizza place at night. No luck. Okay. Anyways, gonna move on. Okay, so I almost turned on the street so I can make a big block, like square, go back home, and then I'd be done by like an hour or something. But now I decided to keep going forward because the light was green. And then so here, this place where I went when I did a commercial for Oreo, and then I fell. And then my back hurt, I had to go for, like, see the doctor for workers' comp, whatever. And then, they had, like, the worst doctor here ever. And I was pissed. I was, I was really pissed because it was a really large lady who was like, you're not hurt, you're not hurt. Oh, did it? you're not hurt. I go, I am hurt. And I was pissed. And then so it happens, I, when you have those workers' comp doctors, they don't really do anything. But anyways, yes. Well, actually, I think it was this one. Well, maybe not. Doesn't really matter. I'm not going to go here anyway. So, um, I'm going to have to go to the bathroom on the way back. We'll see. But anyways, I'm going to keep on trekking. Let's see what happens. Yes. It's a nice day. I highly recommend you guys do this if you have a pretty good walkway. You know, no direction. And the beauty about this is, you know how I do the bike? I do the same thing every day. You know, the same whatever. And this one, you could change it up. You know what? Today I'm going to go right. Today I'm going to go left. You know, today I'm going to go straight. But the one thing you're not going to say is, today I'm not going to go. So, anyways. That's that. Ooh, look, a bench. Ooh, a siren. called Doppler effect all right okay this section I decided against the sidewalk because look I'm in the shade and then I'm not in the shade and then I'm in the shade and then I'm not in the shade. Shade. Not in the shade. So, I was on the sidewalk, I'd just be not in the shade. It's kind of shady. Okay, I decided to do a shady video for Christmas for all of you guys. So anyways. Merry Christmas. Okay, well here's the part where I'm gonna turn. So I'm gonna have a different lighting angle now. Go down this way. So, uh, yeah. So, certain as the sun rising from the east. I don't know if it came that way. This is starting to be like a bad idea. I mean, I'm at the point where I just want to go home, but no, I'm committed to the cause. We'll see. All right. Awesome. All right. So Jill is going to Venice, and I am going to be here. Awesome. So in Venice, the streets are river, and then you take gondolas and stuff. This is a sewer. But you know what? If I went swimming in here, it drains to the ocean. So it's like, hey, I want to go to the beach. Horrible. Okay, at this point, I've been walking for about 45 minutes and I want to just take an Uber home. But 
Whatever. It's part of the exercise, right? Lifestyle reset. Yay. Getting out of the house. <sighs> Anyways. Back to like civilization almost. Definitely need a meal a package. There you go. So, uh, yeah. All right. Anyways, let's go this way. Awesome. All right. Here's the thing that sucks. You do like a really long video, right? And you put them all together, and then when you upload it, all of a sudden, you get this copyright claim on it. Yeah, for like one minute, the song was in the background. Like, oh. So I gotta re-upload that video. So, whatever, right? It's all fun and games. Anyways, still moving on. Send my back, but I'm in a lot of shady area. It's awesome. And no, I'm not gonna take Uber. I refuse. Or Lyft. Okay. Okay, so I just sat down for a couple minutes. But it's kinda weird. It's like, you know, you're just walking around aimlessly. Oh, well, I mean, there's, there is some type of purpose, but it's like, you know, if you want to rest, just sit there and rest, right? Oh, there's a bench right there. I could have sat on this bench instead, and the bus would, like, try and get me, you know? But oh, well, still moving on, moving on, yes. That's crazy. Jack in the Box is, like, the only place open on Christmas. So if you want to start a restaurant... Just have a restaurant that's just open on uh, Thanksgiving, Christmas. There you go. That's what everybody's looking for. Not everybody. But I was earlier. But we'll see. Okay. Okay, this place is pretty nice. A lot of shade. Shade. Oh, I spoke too soon. Here it is. Um, but uh, this whole concept is exploring your neighborhood. It's pretty cool. All right. I'm in the home stretch. Gonna go down the street. I'm there. Uh, it's only like a long time. All right. All right. There you go. Day 351 in the books. So um, yeah, today's Christmas and everything's closed well, except Jack in the Box, right? And uh, you know you have to go exercise somewhere. And then so you know, it's, I mean, I'm not gonna swim in the pool. I'm not gonna do that. And the gym's closed. And uh, I don't feel like running. So I figure, okay, you know what? I'm just going to walk and figure things out, right? So that's that's what I'm uh, doing. And then so, you know, I'm getting things done, and it feels really awesome. But now I just got to go in, take a shower, and then uh, just get ready and go for Christmas dinner. Yes? Awesome. But uh, I'll stop right here. So anyways, Big Daddy Shin, day 351. If I could exercise 351 days in a row, you could exercise 351 days in a row. So if I could do it, you could do it. And I'm doing it, walk around town, finding my new neighborhood and just checking it out. It's not a new neighborhood, but you know, just walking around, it feels like a new neighborhood. But anyways, um, Merry Christmas everybody, and uh, I'll see you next time.